Greetings and salutations gamers, this is Siltel and coming to you live on Sunday. Today we'll be playing some EverQuest, doing some raids. We're either going to be going into fear or doing more of uh, the uh, expedition into the new uh, expansion missions. We'll see what we're going to be doing this evening. Uh, right now we're in Lava Storm, so we're going to be probably doing going into fear or something. We'll see what happens. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. I'm not too sure what's going on. I haven't been told what we're doing yet. Uh, we'll so find out in a moment. So sit back and enjoy as we are going in with our friends, the Filthy Casuals, and your host here, Sil Talon. So we're just going to sit back for just a little bit, get everybody into zone and everything, and get started and ready. We're still getting uh, signed into uh, everything here with the guild and all. Still telling. What are we doing tonight? Ah, it sounds fun. Ah, I can do that. That's pretty easy. I'm wondering why are we at 80% health instead of 100? So I still got a quest more to get rid of that. Gotcha. Yeah. I got the missions to do and uh, two of the last mercenary missions to do. Because you can't do uh, the uh, that one tower and then do the next thing after. You have to do them both at the same time, basically. Ah. <sighs> We have to get the Lesser Spirit Armor done, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm getting them done right now. I'm two of two and three 
2203 in them. The Crypt uh, Spirit I don't have any points into yet. Yeah, I've been running them myself to get the six points in. But I'm still trying to work on the progression. through looking at what I need to do and progression wise still need the missions done I need uh, Grobrin's uh, locked tower and lost uh, lexicon explorers to do to finish up the mercenary uh, content there I have to do pretty much all the mercenary quests uh, not mercenary quests all the mission quests for each area before I'm able to do tier 1c so I still have the Crypt of Decay missions to do and the Partisan and Mercenary tasks I can't uh, continue on with uh, the Mercenary tasks in Virus Soul of Decay until I can get some help with those so they're kind of like mission groups so all I have left is Crypt of Decay to do in the ruins of uh, Lexorion to finish up with on mercenary and partisan and then I have all that's left is uh, missions I need help with that big time but other than that I got almost all the first stuff done I'm working on the uh, the first armor missions uh, for what is it ACH the Lesser Spirit Armor. I'm still working on this too, so I have this to do to finish up. I'll probably have this finished before I even have any of the uh, missions done. And getting missions is hard to get because everybody else is working on their stuff and they're already further ahead of me and they don't have time to help yet. Hopefully later on they'll assist, which I'll be happy for. All I can do is just do what I can. It's about like it's like twenty thousand. Ouch. Ooh, that's nasty. checking uh, flags right now to see if we can do the fight. So we're basically checking out to see if we have enough people with enough uh, flags to do the next fights. If we can't do it, we'll continue with the original uh, four missions and then we'll go off into like hate or something. Fear or hate. But we're right now just waiting for uh, everybody to gather up, get into the zone, and get started very shortly. 
We are currently uh, starting in three minutes. There we go, got the mission started. Uh, let's see how many people can get in. Number of 44 players currently, 54 max players, 6 minimum players. Let's see. Looks like everybody currently in the raid is flagged for this event. Wondering where you zoned in on this one. Banner is down. Did Drew Buff go out yet? Uh. Yeah. Still telling. Thanks. I prefer that. Prefer that. <laughs> Chiron Mass Group Buff used. Chiron Mass Group Buff used. This is uh, Siltel and I could use uh, Symbol. Bus. I'm not sure what this raid buff does clearly, but we'll find out in a moment and I'll quickly give you a very raid I'm on it. Okay, there we go. Very nice.
I did burn down a lot of my uh, AAs towards cleaning it up. I finished up cla the class skills of uh, Beast Lords. They're, sorry, archetypes. They're all done. Now what I have left is uh, the um, class. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen more AA lines to complete to finish up. I'm pr pretty happy about it. Okay. Our source is good. Food, drink. I don't have much of anything. thing that I did get today is this uh, since it's a uh, slot 5 piece of gear I added this to uh, my armor more dexterity I'm hoping to get even more dexterity so I can do more cl uh, cloud uh, set 9 skills on my slot 5 skills on my gear that means I gotta get more slot 5 gear I think I have about 875 points uh, for DKP use, so I'll start bidding seriously on some of the gear starting on out today to uh, get stronger. Ah, this is Decay and Wither. Alright, this is how this works. Decay and Wither. Wither puts special dots on people that the tanks cannot take Banner more than four at a time, or the four, or the tank will get killed. So at when he gets the fourth debuff on him of Wither, they have to change immediately. So there's a large number of tanks on Wither, while Decay has fewer tanks. Still, they're affected by Wither sometimes, and when they get four, they switch out. We'll beat down both of the uh, mobs at the same time. To 50 percent once we find get to 50 percent it'll someone one of the two will say he's afraid of dying we choose that boss mob and beat him down all the way to death we repick him up and beat him down to 15 50 percent in that time we'll probably beat down decay a little bit to bring him down to 20 to 30 percent so that way if it chooses decay on a second time round then we have him down a lot less and he's faster to kill we continue doing uh, the same thing over and over again until the mobs are dead. Uh, we have to uh, kill any of the two five times, but in the right order in order to win the fight. If we kill the wrong per, when we when we kill the wrong boss, we d doesn't count towards the five deaths. So we're kind of did DPS on a mob that we didn't need to. So it's best to keep attention. So someone has and will let us know is that the direction. It's a pretty simple fight. But this is a <laughs> GPS check, so we have a total we have a certain amount of time to drop five bosses. If we don't drop them quickly enough, we will lose the fight. If we lo lose too many tanks on Wither, we will lose the fight immediately. That's how fast it is. Wither is a pain in the butt to deal with. Still don't have part two yet.
We're going for the achievement, having eight raid members on the target. So what's going to happen is we keep eight people on each target at all times. So that way we have more than enough people uh, making points towards the objective. So we keep uh, eight people on the same target at all times. So we're going to start with eight people. So what we're doing is we're getting the eight people aligned. We're trying for this achievement, keeping eight people on the butt of each of these guys the whole time. So we have to have auto attack on. about ready to start.
gift of mana. Gift of Mana 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 Gift of Mana
Gift of Mana. Got the boss down once. Gift of Mana. Silvi Mass Group Buff Used Silvi Mass Group Buff Used Gift of Mana Yeah It's because he's working on Decay Decay is not debuffing him That's why he's tanking for a long time if he was w working on Wither, that would have been a problem for him. Wither is the one that requires the most... Wither is the one that has a lot of... Uh, Wither is the one that is the problem. He puts out the debuffs. Very dangerous debuffs that have to be watched, or otherwise you lose the fight. Two down that we got on the disc.
Plus, I'm burning through a lot of mana in this fight. Gift of Mana. Natural Shamas Group Buff Use. Natural Shamas Group Buff Use. I just gave out all my discs for this fight. Gift of Mana. Gift of Mana. Three times in a row for Decay. Wow. Gift of Mana. Paragon going out. Gift of Mana. Gift of Mana. Gift of Mana. Five minutes before power up. We're hoping it's uh, Wither on the next choice, the boss, because we're at the point where we're going to kill him accidentally from the amount of damage we're putting on to him from him not being chosen yet. It's ridiculous. Gift of Mana. Four minutes before power up. Failed to feign death. Summer mass group buff use. Summer mass group buff use. Scylla mass group buff use. Scylla mass group buff use. Gift of mana.
3 minutes before power up. Gift of Mana Alright, we got Decay Wither is the last one on this one That gives us to 4 Give us exactly what we needed 2 minutes before power up Beamed of mass group buff used. Beamed of mass group buff used. Stella blue mass group buff used. Stella blue mass group buff used. Gift of mana. One minute before power up. We need to get it down faster before power up. If it powers up, we're screwed. DA on flappy heads. Gift of Mana Gift of Mana Power up Gift of Mana Flappy Hands Mass Group Buff Used Flappy Hands Mass Group Buff Used Gift of Mana DA on Janine
gift of mana. Caroline Mass Group Buff Used Caroline Mass Group Buff Used Gift of Mana Killed it through Enrage. Holy crap, that was really good. Nice. We also got the uh, objective that we wanted to get too. That is basically keep uh, eight guys on the s same targets at all times. Ooh, Quintance of Health. Wow, that was incredible. Nice. Nice. We got it all taken care of. All right. Let's see what we get. Man, that was pretty awesome. We got the achievement, which is a 6AA. I also got another achievement for getting uh, a kill. It was pretty sweet. Let's see, everybody in? Two didn't make it in yet. That was a brutal fun fight, though. Oh, 
All right, let's see. Don't need this face mask, but I'll show it up. And we got this. Uh, I should probably roll on some of this here. No, I already got a. So we got the first boss down for the night. We got three more to get down before we go on to fear or uh, hate, uh, fear or hatred. Revisiting fear, most likely again. We'll probably save fear mostly for uh, tomorrow. Beast crack went out. No problem. Yeah, the little guy was tanking for a long time because he was on uh, Decay. Decay is the one that gives out the special debuffs. It was Wither. That's the one where you have to keep uh, four or less debuffs on the tanks. Or they die instantly from the melee from Wither. When Wither went nuts on the overcharge of Chiron uh, Mass Group buff used of the five Chiron Mass Group going buff down used to nothing, he becomes a lot stronger and hits much harder along with Decay. So uh, they had to switch out the tanks with uh, two uh, tags on them in order to survive. Because they're hitting twice as hard, practically. And doing a raid AoE. We survived um, over two minutes of their enraged timer. So that was pretty nifty. Let's see. 
Let's see where I left at for. Okay, so. Decay and Wither. I was rank 3 on Decay damage. And Wither. Because bosses are separate hits. Well. I was ranked two on Wither. So between the two bosses, I was basically, if you combine them two, at 2.5 uh, rank on DPS meters. Wither is at like uh, two, rank two, and Decay is on uh, rank th three for DPS. It was not bad. I did 1.1%. 2.9% damage to him in total and 6 point, no, 7.9 on the other percent damage in the raid. It's not bad. So, did I win anything? No, I didn't. I didn't win anything. So nothing won this time around. Ah, oh, thanks for uh, that, Sintoni. Yeah, I also uh, went out today and got a uh, topping for my bed. Uh, it was a, um, what, was it, what was it called? Uh, memory foam topping, 3-inch, for a twin bed. To deal with the uh, straight-up how stiff and firm the mattress is. And I got to try it out for an hour. Felt really nice laying in the bed finally. So that should help with my back and healing a little faster now. Yeah, it does help. That three inches of memory foam really makes that blow up bed actually nice to lay on. I don't I don't feel like I'm in pain the whole time trying to sleep on that bed. So, going to see how it's going to end up later tonight overall, you know what I mean? So, raid-wise, I scored a 2.5 rating for placement. I did really well. That's on my DPS meter, between the two bosses, DPS and both down. But it's always different depending on meter versus meter. Yeah, I'll have to move stuff back up in a month and a half. It's it's gonna if I'm not fully healed on my back, I'm gonna I'm gonna mess my back up pretty hard. Go moving back into the uh, moving back into the old apartment. So I'm, it's a race against time and getting the backache uh, taken care of. That backache is down lower right area, not at the spine. It's just a muscle. A mus I pulled a muscle, basically, pretty badly. And it just hurts when you try uh, moving to the side, bending over, and stuff like that. 
Yeah, I hope it recovers quickly. And I have slept for two weeks on that mattress without a cushioning. And I thought the blow-up bed was going to be, you know, comfortable enough not needing anything like that. It fi finally came... Last night was the last straw. I got up almost every one to two hours in pain. And in pain. Over and over again. So I got like from 10 o'clock to 6 o'clock in the morning. And I got out of bed at 6 finally. And I just had enough of it. So went to pick up the top piece comforter part for memory foam. I, I I was completely surprised at how uh, much that memory foam uh, helped out. It felt really nice laying in that bed, but I had the raid to get to, so it's like, no, I want to lay in the bed more, <laughs> actually take a nap. <laughs> but I'm kind of excited to go to bed tonight, not feel like I'm in total pain. Well, we're getting ready to tool up for the next raid. We're going in with... Uh, 45 players, so we're a group and a half under the maximum amount we can take. I'm flagged, that's good. One, two, three, four, five. Six mains. Six unflagged mains. We're going to be doing it with uh, 45 people. It's going to be interesting. And it's, an, and it's a new raid, too. This is a new raid that we haven't done before. I have no idea what's going to take place in this one. We're going to find out. Banner is down.
Yes. They're up to 30 some odd uh, expects. Let's click on the chair. Banner is down. Yeah, so there's going to be another year's worth of streaming of uh, EverQuest. So I started at SOL, and I made a determined uh, point to uh, stream the raids all the way till EverQuest Live. So from SOL till now, it's been like two and a half years. So by the time we get done, it'll be like three, four or five years that I've streamed this. Yeah, it's nuts. Yeah, sure. My character is a beast lord, so it's a it's a combination of three classes: shaman, monk, and cleric. I'm basically shamistic in my spells and abilities for what I cast for attack and defense, uh, pet buffing, and. Uh, slowing targets down so I can fight them better and for me and my pet I'm a pet class which I have the pet doing my damage and defending for me while I do damage alongside it so it's a char character that's meant to fi fight alongside its pet um, for cleric part uh, I'm my own pet's cleric so I can keep my pet up and alive pretty effectively like it was a player character so it's really nice the monk part is my DPS where I'm hand-to-hand -hand, one-handed blunt two-handed blunt uh, piercing so those are the type of weapons I can use I have special uh, kicks and punches I can use they have special attachments and abilities to them such as uh, doing a dot damage to the target as long as I keep punching them and uh, more damage with the kicks that I make. It depends on what I have taken. Um, let's see. My pet is mainly a tank, uh, but it can DPS as a DPSer, depending on how I set it up for its. Uh, how, set myself up for uh, its um, ability to fight. For instance, if I need a pens, if I need my pet to be defensive, I'd use this. This will get, give me more mitigation armor class and the warder's health. So it and at the cost of accuracy, giving my pet the ab better ability to tank. The DPS one gives me better accuracy damage dealing with melee attacks at the cost of maximum health and armor class. So I have the ability to switch up what my pet does. Is it going to be a tank for myself or my group? Or is it going to just DPS? So as a Beast Lord, you have a lot of options and abilities, which is a lot of fun. So that's the general 
characteristic. In a raid, my job is to use Paragon and focus Paragon on targets that need it. Well, technically not a mage. Well, technically a mage because of the pet summon. That makes sense. But we can DPS at range, but the DPS amount we do at range is far less than what we would do up close with melee. But we can mix it up with dots, which tends to do more damage over the long term. And we can do direct damage, which can short term add to the melee damage as well. So if you rotate your dots, your direct damage, and your melee correctly, you can do a tremendous amount of damage. So you and your pet can be either a tank or DPS. You can keep your pet up yourself as long as the pet is continued is continued being uh, tanking. You can heal them and keep them up. And most clerics in your group can focus on the group and you can focus on your pet. So you can actually take the healing issues off a actual main cleric or use a uh, mercenary ca character to be your pet healer. It gives you a lot of options and capabilities. The Beast Lord class is more of a defensive slash offensive while you're the shaman and damage caster or me melee damage as well so it's uh, it's I have to the best way to express the beast lord of class is a jack of all trades compared to an actual mage which does high amount of damage has a good pet has very few pet recovery spells but still has a, a very good pet a necromancer your pet mainly does in the butt damage from behind while you run around and reverse kite it or kite it and sometimes your pet can stand up against mobs too you can also heal your pet which is actually pretty decent too shaman your pet is paper a paper tiger until level 105 then it actually becomes something that you can actually use to off tank with but the shaman has slows buffs and dots and uh, some DDs. Alright. Hopefully I answered everything you wanted to know. I'm listening to the raid instructions for this fight while I'm sitting here talking to you and explaining stuff and it's that's why I kind of slowed down a bit. <laughs> no problem. I like the Beast Lord class. It's just very flexible. And if you want a, a class that can actually solo and fight on its own, this is one of the best classes. Followed by the Necromancer, uh, Mage, and then Shaman. Beast Lord is the best at survival. Now, this fight has a lot of mechanics in it. I, I don't know where to start, so just sit and watch and see what we do. This is the first time we've started this fight, so we might die a couple times, but I don't think so. I think about an 80% chance we're going to beat it on the first attempt. We're going to give the first attempt uh, is just an attempt. If we uh, think we're going to beat it on the first attempt, we'll take the beating and uh, win it. Huh. I didn't get any... Um... Failed to feign death.
gift of mana. Yeah, I accidentally pulled too much. Gift of Mana Janine Mass Group buff used. Janine Mass Group buff used. Named vulnerable. Sylvie Mass Group buff used. Sylvie Mass Group buff used. Gift of Mana Gift of Mana
named vulnerable. This one's a hard one. Named vulnerable. Gift of mana. Gift of Mana So we, every time he changes a different color, we have to match that color to wherever in the corner the color is at so we can uh, get them debuffed from the color advantage. We have to go somewhere else. Chiron Mass Group Buff Used Chiron Mass Group Buff Used Named Vulnerable
Silo mass group buff used. Silo mass group buff used. this prime healer because he's healing the boss up. Healer keeps healing up. This snowballs. That's dead.
Gift of Mana. Failed to feign death. Named invulnerable. His attack power is pretty weird. He couldn't hit me at all. Ah. that it's taken a while to clear aggro. Yep. I'm so happy for uh, Fringe Death. <laughs> it's so super cheesy.
That first uh, fight was to see how the fight went. We did pretty well. We gotta figure out what we're gonna do with the healing cler clerics. Yeah, it's a weird fight. So basically this is how the fight goes as we start. First part is, phase one is, we deal with all the enemy NPCs in the area, kill them off. The big guy comes in after a certain amount of time, he passes around, then gets to the bottom area here, buffs any of the surviving NPCs that we haven't killed. We still have to kill those NPCs, take that guy, pull him through the uh, different uh, auras, as you can see around the room. And depending on what aura he is, is, you have to put him through that aura to debuff him of that aura. Third phase is the healers come active, and then we have to kill the healers that spawn. There are two of them. They have real high healing capability if left alone. If being damaged by three or four players, it does a lot less. So we're gonna split <coughs> We're gonna split the raid off to focus on both of them at the same time. So we think this type of fight with the healers that are being added in, we you can't burn them down. We try burning down one at a time at one at a time. It failed because the other hero was healing the other guy fully up pretty quick uh, before we could do too much damage to him. So we figure that if we split the raid up onto both healers, they'll their healing would be wrecked heavily so that it's negligible and we can kill both of them at a, a good amount of time in a short amount of, shorter amount of time and capable of killing them otherwise if you leave one alone it's just gonna heal the other one up to full and the boss and you're gonna lose and that's what happened in the last round alright uh, the guild is taking a break here for 10-15 minutes uh, to deal with real life things snacks Drinks, bathrooms, stuff like that. Chiron Mass Group buff use. Some of the people here are family. Chiron Mass Group, group buff use. Family, they have kids to tuck into bed, so we're taking about ten to fifteen minute uh, break. So what I want to do is go use the bathroom, get a drink set up and ready, and come right back and just wait out the uh, time. If you've got any comments or questions? Feel free to ask in the chat channel. I'll try to explain what I can uh, when I get back and answer your questions. See you in a few minutes, guys.
All right, I'm back. And I do agree with you 100%. What a weird freaking fight. <laughs> do you have any um, uh, Gina triggers for this fight? Yeah. Hey, kitty. How you doing? You want to say hi to the audience? <laughs> Come on, get somewhere over where I can grab you. There you go. Good kitty. This is one of my uh, little kitties. Such a good boy. Alright, I'll let you down now. I know you don't like being up on my lap that much. <laughs> it's one of my two kitties. They look almost similar. One has a really dopey face. We call him Evie. And uh, that one I showed you was Bernie. Yeah. We named him after Bernie Sanders for the fun of it, basically. He, he, Bernie's my cat that likes me more than the other roommate. Yeah, darn it. I lost the cat. Oh, well. Don't mind me. I'll be munching on my uh, uh, snacks while I wait for the, the raid to start up again. <laughs> yeah, he. I was a little surprised after I got the uh, new topping for the uh, the memory foam uh, topping for my bed. He uh, jumped into bed with me, came up to my chest area, laid half on top of my chest, and the other half, like tucked in my arm that was off to the side, and was just laying half on me and half on the bed, and just sat there for an hour long, just sitting on top of me, purring and getting petted and stuff like that. And it's rare that my cat ever does anything like that. I was I was happy and surprised when he did it. I like it when the cat cuddles. Yeah, we got a. Uh, sorry, we got uh, another five five minutes to eight minutes left. We're just waiting on people coming back. So if you got any comments or questions about the raid or anything else, just feel free to ask and I'll be happy to answer any comments or questions you may have. Um, as a, I play mainly a Beast Lord character. I do know some of the other information on the other classes, but not much. But I can mainly answer most of the Beast Lord questions you might have. I really like it. It's a really good class if you want to play solo or if you're forced to do things solo it's a really good class to do it with because you get a healing merc and you got your pet and yourself it, you can go d the long distance and a lot of the um, X packs that you're in with the merc you can literally solo fight um, named mobs in the current X pack that you're in for whatever level and class normally this X pack, only like 25% of the main mobs I can solo. The other 75% I can't touch because they hit for 45,000 to 60,000 a single strike. It's more than what my water can take and what I can take uh, personally. I mean, I can take two or three hits from a, like that and just drop. My water takes two or three hits and then drops. So. 
it, it's kind of hard. I'm outclassed on some of those. But a couple expansions ago, I, I walked through every name mob and laughed with the ray gear I was wearing and uh, the gear I had. And my pet could just tank the, the mobs with no problems. I had fun when I was able to do that. Now it requires tanks to deal with the main mobs. Real tanks. But it's nice to be able to order a pet tank. Uh, in the group content with most of the group content and solo tank in the single content really easily. Well, you got to remember, World of Warcraft is uh, a wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, give me the loops type of gameplay and style. It's meant to be done with lower level, lower amount of people, quickly done and easily done in a specific way, so you can get fat loots very quickly. It's a smash grab for the loot type style game. Quick and easy. That's all I'm going to say. EQ, you have to work for your gear for the higher levels. Especially when you get in the higher level content and X-Pack stuff. Especially for the final raids to beat Bean the, mass group um, buff used. Bean the, mass group the buff used. final raids in the X-Pack because those are the hardest ones to deal with. But you feel rewarded for getting your gear. That's the difference between World of Warcraft and EQ. EQ makes you feel rewarded and happy for your gear, that you accomplished something and you got something out of it. World of Warcraft is, hey, thank you, wham bam, thank you, ma'am, give me all my fat loots. If I don't get it, I'm going to baby pout and throw tantrum. Yeah, I was in a World of Warcraft guild that threw tantrums if they did not beat the raids and they failed for someone doing something stupid. Yeah. The tantrums that I've seen. Oh my god, the tantrums. Especially the Corehound uh, raids. Those were the even worse ones. Oh my god. The tantrums thrown on that one was hilarious. Yeah, I did play World of Warcraft 2 for a while. I just got so bored of it because I didn't feel fulfilled when raiding in World of Warcraft. It felt so hollow to me. It was just, all you had to do is don't step in the red, don't step in a certain color in the raid. Just make sure you move and keep moving. Not very hard. 
everything was visually visually out there for you to see. Unlike World of Warcraft where EQ doesn't have any visual representations of don't stand here, don't be here, colors across the field. You have to have, you have to pay attention to the messages in game at first until they got the Gina triggers built and then then was just listening to Gina triggers and knowing where to move and when to move. Such as, uh, let's say, uh, the Zek brothers. One of the Zeks uh, does a massive AoE. Everybody has to go behind pillars or you get wrecked. If you don't go around the corner, you get hit heavily hard and heavy and only the tanks can survive it. But they're still going to get wrecked. That's what made it EverQuest a little harder, is the fact that you had to pay attention to what was going on, to alternate screens or the Gina, when the Gina triggers came out eventually, to clear the fights effectively. The Gina triggers were the best addition when they started coming out. That helped with the fights so much more. It made it a lot easier compared to uh, doing these fights without Gina and having to read uh, screen system information and by the time someone said anything on screen system information it had already happened so that's what Gina triggers were best as early warning and a uh, great way of keeping people on their toes with that they didn't even need to think about putting any visual indicators in the game they tried early on and found out it just took too much resources to use it and they decided not to do it. World of Warcraft decided to use it because they were using a newer uh, graphical system that could handle it, a more dynamical graphic system so they can handle it easier. And two, they built around the fact of using visual signals to do so, which made it really easy to conduct raids. Again, it's just like don't step in the bad. That's all you need to know with most of the raids. You don't know what the bad is. It's just don't step in the bad. Don't be in the bad area. That's all you had to pay attention. If you could do that, you were fine. Overall, I like the complexity of, of uh, EverQuest more. And the feeling of fulfillment when doing a good job in a raid. Excuse me while I munch on my snack while waiting for the rage to start back up.
But anything, but anyhow, the last thing I want to say about World of Warcraft, it is a good game design for what you get for it. Even though I may slam it a little, because it's just way too easy, in my opinion. Um, it's still a good game for fast, fun, quick loot and action. That's all it's designed for, is quick, fun loot experience. I personally prefer the build your character up over time, earn your loot, and have fun going through the experience of everything that you need to do. And it's a lot more fun for me. But World of Warcraft is not bad. It has its uh, likes and bonuses that a lot of people enjoy. Uh, EQ has its own similar likes and enjoyment value for other people, depending on what you're looking for. Sometimes EverQuest is not for everyone, and World of Warcraft's not for everyone. So, kudos to both. You like what you like. That's all I'll say. And have fun playing. Alright, the raid's back together. We're about to start here. We're uh, explaining the new tactics we're using and what we're going to be doing. So, we'll see what takes place after. So they're putting clerics in specific spots as tests for this fight to see how well it works. We're trying to find places to put uh, healers where they're not going to get aggroed on by the boss very quickly. So the start of the fight, we go gather these guys all around the whole temple area. Once we get them all down here, we'll kill them as quickly as possible. For those of you that don't know right now about what event is going on in EverQuest, if you play EverQuest, uh, right now it's uh, Labor Day weekend, double rewards and experience up until Tuesday. So if you jump in now, you can get 200% experience for whatever you do in the game, which is pretty awesome. Throw in a uh, potion of experience. Then you get 225 if you use the, um, which one is it called again? The Lesson of the Devoted, you get 50% experience, then you have 250% experience increase to your kills, which allows you to level up your uh, AAs very, very quickly. As you can see, I'm almost up to 17,000 <laughs> AAs earned. I only need like eight, eight more AAs to get this right here paid off.
As I said, for instance, my roundhouse kick also triggers scale feral swipe that adds 1,445 extra damage on my next rank. That's like a 32,000 kick. I kick for 32,000 points of damage. I'm already kicking currently, right now, uh, 28,000 to 30,000. <laughs> Which is a lot higher than my actual melee damage by itself. We have 49 people in the raid now after after everybody came back. This is going to be a fun spell. I rarely ever get to use this. Hits up to 30 surrounding enemies. It's a POB. Point blank area effect. Uh, its range is 25. So that means if I stand here, it'll hit everyone in the, that I'm, is around me. With 12,701 damage. I'm in group four. In Zulu West. Okay, even, so dealing with the two healers, we decided the even goes west and odds go east. That's how we're going to do the damage. The boss, uh, people who deal with the boss and the off tanks for the boss will stay on the boss the whole time and deal with them. The, uh, so only the healers and the tanks will be da down there at the time of the two 
healers that are up. We are guessing that uh, for the healers, their their healing capabilities decrease by the amount of damage that we dump into them to make it literally negligible healing attempts. So it makes it so that they just don't do anything. They are non-aggro. They don't uh, hit you back.
gift of mana. Named Vulnerable Failed to feign death. Named Vulnerable. Gift of Mana Silla mass group buff used. Silla mass group buff used.
named invulnerable. Named vulnerable. I had to watch my aggro. I almost over aggroed. It's so easy for a beast lord to over aggro in some fights. If you over aggro, you're gonna get your butt kicked. Named invulnerable. Sylvie Mass Group Buff Used Sylvie Mass Group Buff Used Named Invulnerable Black is invulnerable, which is a pain in the butt. Sauna mass group buff used. Sauna mass group buff used. Two clicks of healing. Three clicks of healing. Four clicks.
Yeah, it's much better. Having to split the DPS between the two at the same time really worked out. We're about to beat this part where we uh, fail on it. Gift of Mana. Named Vulnerable. Flappy Hands Mass Group Buff Used Flappy Hands Mass Group Buff Used Gift of Mana Now is just kill him. Named vulnerable. Paragon going out. Beamed up mass group buff used. Beamed up mass group buff used. Gift of mana.
named vulnerable. Named and vulnerable. Named and vulnerable. Named Vulnerable. Looks like we got it. Stella Blue Mass Group buff used. Stella Blue Mass Group buff used. Gift of Mana Summer Mass Group Buff Used Summer Mass Group Buff Used Named Vulnerable Yeah, we got him. Good work, everyone. Yeah, two temps. Get it. We got it. That's pretty good, isn't it? <laughs> Second on DPS. That's hilarious. I'm learning the rotation of a blast dot, Beast Lord, using dots plus direct damage. It eats up so much mana. Tater's Mass Group buff used. Tater's Mass Group buff used.
Thanks. Oh, it is actually slightly better than what I got. So, I'll go for these. They're working on flags right now, not loot. So these are the two I'm going to bid on.
I put my two bids in. Whether or not I win anything depends on who's bidding and what. Yeah. One rogue in the raid. She's got two of these. And with the uh, extra stuff you can add to the weapon here, this is an amazing weapon for what it is. Even the uh, new uh, one-hander that I'm bidding on is a really good upgrade for me. But it's blind bidding, so you don't know what anybody's going to bid for. The arms are really important to get in the legs. He beat me by 10 points. Oh well. It would be nice to at least win one of these. expensive oh well I've been trying. I'm only bidding uh, around a hundred minimum and maybe a few extra points above that. I just don't know what people bid on average to determine. I just don't want to burn too much of my uh, DKP right away. I'm waiting to see the better loot come out. Just 
still got maybe one or two encounters left to do. We get the next two spells. I would love to get the red one. Or the yellow one. Either one would work for me. It's been three weeks, so we got five weeks left of the expect before we get the next one. And unfortunately, because of the double DKP and experience that's going on for Memorial Day weekend, I'm going to be on EQ a lot, and I mean a lot. I can't afford to miss the experience.
Wow. Wow. All four corners are being used for this next fight. One, the main boss tanked in the corner. Some cleansing mobs are tanking in another corner. Slimes are mezzed in the next corner. And pump the golems into corner. Cleansing steams need to be punted into corner. Wow. Wow. They're reading through the next fight information. Let's take a few moments. So this event in this area feels like the Burtox fight. Burtox fight was where you had the main boss and add wave after add wave after add wave while you're killing the main boss. It was nuts. But fun. They're still going over the information.
We're still discussing the fight. This one is a complicated fight. This is why it's taking a little bit of time going through it.
All right, we're about ready to start, finally. They had to adjust the information as they went, because this is the first time we were looking at the information. That's why it took so long. So they had someone who has experience with this event explain some other things for us, and we're implementing everything that they just finished discussing. Oozes in new corners will go in one corner, boss in another, the golems in another color, and uh, the last set of items in one corner. As soon as the portal is available to be attacked, we're going to kill it right away as quickly as we can. We might have two portal phases. Hmm. Sorry this is taking a little time. They're finishing up the last of the instructions. We will soon be starting this. We just had to make sure we go over all the details of the fight. Because this is a technical fight that requires a lot of different people doing different things at a certain time and phrase. And at certain intervals, five times during the raid, we're getting ads. Depending on the boss's health being dropped.
<clears throat> Excuse me. We're about to start soon. Here we go. Click your TBs. All right, here we go from the north. So, from one of those two doors. Stop nuking. Splash. Corruption cure. Naos Hamakler truth. Stop nuking.
stop nuking. Get corruption cured. Splash. Corruption cure, Janine Clefsil Talon. Nukes allowed. Stop nuking. First ad phase coming up. Stop nuking. Splash. Corruption cure. Brandana Yotir Silv Talon. Stop nuking. Splash. Corruption cure, bean de butier Claude S. Stop nuking. Stop nuking. They're starting. Stuff inside starting to pop, but not yet. Do not enter yet, guys. Event reset. Pickup wasn't very good, and some people got uh, wasted pretty quick.
We got to see a little bit of the first uh, wave there and how it f functioned, which is good. Not bad for the first attempt, and the first time seeing it. <laughs> yeah, the old tank and spank days. Yeah, like uh, brood. Uh, like uh, what is it? Uh, what's her name? Uh, the one dragon from classic. Uh, Vox and Nagy. Those were fun tank and spank fights. There are some tank and spank fights in some of the expansions. Uh, but they're kind of rare because they keep mixing it up, the style of fights with each expansion. Tank and spank fight uh, in a lot of the Chiron newer Mass Group expansions buff use. Chiron Mass Group buff are used heavy hitter fights so it tests your tanks gear and your healers abilities there were three But I do like the uh, Benny Hill fights. You know what I mean by Benny Hill, right? Play the Benny Hill music and run around in a circle in a room. <laughs> Away from the mobs. While your enchanters get everything mezzed and tanks get their set targets set. Then you stop running around in circles in the room. And you play the Benny Hill music, it sounds really funny when you watch the scene. And what everybody's trying to do, except for the people who have roles to do during that time is, is uh, avoid getting caught by the mobs that are coming in and trying to kill everybody, that chase everybody. So if you're lucky enough, you survive and be able to DPS this stuff down. It's about surviving and getting everything set up.
<laughs> yeah, that is true. Planes of power. T planes of power for the time. Citadel of anguish, definitely. Those were the old days where you tanked and spanked. So, I don't know. I probably have one, so I don't need any rank 2 spells anymore.
We're almost done giving out the orders that are changed. We're about ready to start this. They're just going over some of the information real fast, so... The biggest threat of this fight is the adds. Other than that, if you get the cleansing seams down quickly, it's a very easy fight. Once you kill all the cleansing seams, it kills off all the NPCs in the room because they'll despawn. Then a special mob will spawn that we had to kill, then back on the mob t the boss target dps him down to a certain point uh, rinse and repeat five times and he dies during that five times we'll get uh, a portal spawning which we have to run north and go kill it might take us two attempts to kill it Citadel of Anguish was the fun one, in my opinion. I really liked that zone. Planes of Power was amusing, especially the uh, end dragon that you have to kill, the multi-headed one. It was pretty fun to fight that guy. So the boss is coming down from the left. from the north. Got my directions mixed up. <laughs> Stop nuking. Splash. Corruption cure. Peenler's UPA blogulae. Stop nuking. Stop nuking. Splash. Corruption cure. Clep Bramel Hamickler. Here come the ads that we've sent. Oh. 
Stop nuking. Gift of mana. Stop nuking. Splash. Corruption cure. Letty Janine Piglet. Stop nuking. Splash. Corruption cure, sauna Ecuadorian bean dip. Stop nuking. Oh. Gift of mana. Stop nuking. Splash. Corruption cure, Pinlo bean dip Giancarlo. Stop nuking. Kill portal now. Gift of mana. Well, about ninety percent. Stop nuking. Splash. Corruption cure. Bramel Thornton Silva. Gift of mana. Stop nuking. Nukes allowed. Splash. Corruption cure. Brina Janine Silk Talon. Stop nuking. Stop nuking. Splash. Corruption cure, taters UP of bean dip. Nukes allowed.
stop nuking. Stop nuking. Get corruption cured. Splash. Corruption cure, Silb Talon Bean Dip Fenrin. Natural Shmas Group Buff Used. Natural Shmas Group Buff Used. Stop nuking. Yeah, that corruption cure didn't really do much. Splash. Corruption cure, Elise for his Fenrin Scylla. Gift of Mana. Stop nuking. Stop nuking. Splash. Corruption cure, Serendria Claude S. Caroline. Silla mass group buff used. Paragon going out. Silla mass group buff used. Stop nuking. Stop nuking. Splash. Corruption cure, Terry Bar Taters Healy's for us. Gift of Mana. Gift of Mana. Stop nuking. Kill portal now. Gift of mana. Splash. Yep, we killed. Corruption him. cure. Claude Esprina true. Nukes allowed. Forty nine percent for next ads. Splash. Corruption cure. Clef Fenrin third tier.
Splash. Corruption cure, Uter Caroline Lagulet. Sylvai Mass Group buff used. Sylvai Mass Group buff used. Splash. Corruption Cure, Ecuadorian Claude S. Bramel. Beendip Mass Group Buff Used. Beendip Mass Group Buff Used. Caroline Mass Group Buff Used. Caroline Mass Group Buff Used. DA on Silva. Gift of Mana. Splash. Corruption Cure, Claude S. Clef Ecuadorian. Splash. Corruption cure, Letty Logula UPO. Splash. Corruption cure, Scylla so untrue. Gift of mana. Kill portal now. Fenrin Mass Group Buff Used Fenrin Mass Group Buff Used Gift of Mana Splash Corruption Cure, Torzax Helis for a Steward Nukes allowed.
Splash. Corruption Cure, Heemler's Claudette Sauna. Nukes allowed. DA on Silva. Splash. Corruption cure. We're in a flappy hands summer. Gift of mana. Gift of mana. My paragon's down. Nukes allowed. Summer mass group buff used. Summer mass group buff used. Splash. Corruption cure, so on flappy hands Stella Blue. Nukes allowed. Chiron Mass Group Buff Used Chiron Mass Group Buff Used Gift of Mana Splash Corruption Cure Dre Giancarlo so on Kill portal now. Gift failed to feign death. Nukes allowed. Pass that round of 14%. Gift of Mana Splash Corruption Cure Natural Shmutir Sana Splash. Corruption Cure, Terry Bar Torzax Caroline. Failed to feign death. Ecuadorian Mass Group Buff used. Ecuadorian Mass Group Buff used. Nukes allowed. Stella Blue Mass Group Buff Used Stella Blue Mass Group Buff Used Brina Mass Group Buff Used Brina Mass Group Buff Used 
Splash. Corruption Cure, Bacon Legs So On Silva. Gift of Mana. Gift of Mana. Saltsash Mass Group Buff Used. Saltsash Mass Group Buff Used. Splash. Corruption Cure, Rod Peenler's Ecuadorian. Got me, mess. Kill portal now. Gift of mana. Get corruption cured. Splash. Corruption cure. Silk talon bean dip summer. Nukes allowed. Wow, we got it, guys. Good job. That was pretty awesome, guys. Yeah, <laughs> that was a lot of fun. Five separate ad waves on that one. Tater's mass group buff used. Tater's mass group buff used. Was that the last fight in the expansion? No, how many more do we have? Four at this tier. Two more zones. Two in plane of health. And Crypto Soul has two. So we have four more raids to do to finish up the expansion. This was the second hardest after Decay.
yeah, I'd have to bid high on that one, definitely. All over the board. I'll get something at least. Hopefully. Oh boy. <laughs> so I'm Fighting against one beast lord and four monks for the hands. That was a really killer fight. That was the second hardest fight in the expansion. The first hardest fight we already completed right away in the first, uh, second week. This is the third week. So we've been trucking through the expansion pretty good. All we're waiting for is mainly the, uh, little flags to, uh, be able to move on to the next fight phase. Those are that uh, circular magic things that we're getting. It's this one. And this is the last one here to get.
Ring for went for 405, so that drops me out of the fight. No, it's people listening to what we're supposed to do. That's what's made it really easy. Everybody kept on the ball. All we had to do was kill the, uh, the glistening steams. It despawns all the ads, and then we have one more ad after that to deal with. Kill that off. Back to the boss. Rinse and repeat. bid the 50 DKP for that. The arms are out. The ring is out that I wanted to get. Uh, the boots. One of the weapons. on the boots bid the 200 for that the only thing I dislike about streaming sometimes is, is smart people pay attention to what the streamer is doing they know what I'm gonna bid and they can outbid me pretty easily <laughs> That one I put 300 on. Three oh five. That that kind of feels like he saw my bid. <laughs> oh well, no worries. It'll drop again later. That was fun, though. We're going to do one attempt on the next fight. It's going to mainly be wit. We might uh, one shot it. Who knows? So we're going to So we're going to try this next one with a one shot. We may actually beat it. We don't know.
Am I on a list or not? Oh, there we go. Okay, there we go. Looks like we've got ourselves a grand old fight. Banner is down. So there will be five waves of ads. You gotta kill all the ads to win. And kill the boss. Chiron Mass Group buff used. Chiron Mass Group does, buff does used. Strike AOE uh, for 95k. He has a totem that does a lot of AE click around it. Oof. Another AOE uh, effect. We're only going to see this fight once, so we're going to only take one attempt at it.
Ariel with a few whites. Wow. Banner is down. Just clearing out the ads.
banner is down. Silv Talon, you woke a mob. Gift of Mana Gift of Mana <laughs> DA on Silva, Silv Talon, you woke a mob. Gift of Mana. Totem, adjust position. Gift of Mana.
totem, adjust position. Janine Mass Group Buff Used Janine Mass Group Buff Used DA on Silva Totem, adjust position. Run away to cure. Totem, adjust position. Adds. Run away to cure. Failed to feign death. Silv Talon, you woke him up. Run away to cure. Run away to cure.
run away to cure. Drop aggro or get close to the boss. Run away to cure. Natural Shmas Group Buff Used Natural Shmas Group Buff Used Run away to cure. Tater's mass group buff used. Tater's mass group buff used. Yep. You will now. Bean dip mass group buff used. Bean dip mass group buff used. Drop aggro or get close to the boss. Run away to cure. Chiron mass group buff used. Chiron mass group buff used. Flappy hands mass group buff used. Flappy hands mass group buff used. Silk talon run away and wait. Silk talon safe to return. Run away to cure. We were waiting mainly for everybody to get back because we had a lot down. So we kept the boss running for a bit.
run away to cure. Run away to cure. <laughs> Totem, adjust position. Run away to cure. Ads. Gift of Mana Gift of Mana Run away to cure. Totem, adjust position. Ha <laughs> 
<laughs> Gift of mana. Totem, adjust position. Run away to cure. Caroline Mass Group buff used. Caroline Mass Group buff used. Ads. Totem, adjust position. Didn't even know how I died. All I know I went from full to zero in a split second. The reason why that fight is so hard is because of the totems coming down every 30 seconds and we have to stay out of it or we die. Run away to cure. the stairs killing us didn't even have a chance because they tell us move to the stairs and instantly there's an ad killing us failed to feign death
run away to cure. Run away to cure. We're getting rezzed up while we're still in combat. Stewart Mass Group buff used. Stewart Mass Group buff used. Brina Mass Group buff used. Brina Mass Group buff used. Chiron Mass Group buff used. Chiron Mass Group buff used.
run away to cure. Natural Shamas Group Buff Used Natural Shamas Group Buff Used Stella Blue Mass Group Buff Used Stella Blue Mass Group Buff Used Suddenly, you have seizures. Excuse me. The foe goes stronger again. It's not good. He's enraged right now. I don't think we'll be able. It's hard to say if we'll be able to take him down. Run away to cure. Flappy Hands Mass Group Buff Used Flappy Hands Mass Group Buff Used Run Away to Cure
totem, adjust position. I don't know what's hitting me and killing me instantly. Run away to cure. Run away to cure. Salt Sash Mass Group buff used. Salt Sash Mass Group buff used. Adds. Totem, adjust position. Run away to cure. Run away to cure. I just died out of no reason. No debuff. Just death. Wow. Was, I think it's just a loss at this point. <laughs>
it is possible to take it down. So I believe we're trying for it. click no on that because I'm bugged I don't want to lose the pet and I gotta reset my get back DPS and I'll go in because for some odd reason I can't suspend my pet yeah Pet suspending is bugged. I already buffed it up, so I didn't want to lose it. It's just easier to go through here and get back into the raid. Yeah, this one's a hard one because of all the moving we have to do and the ads we have to deal with, too. The ads make it really difficult, but it's the totems that is the worst part. Three minutes until Paragon. Run away to cure. Run away to cure. Sauna mass group buff used. Sauna mass group buff used. Run away to cure.
Silo mass group buff used. Silo mass group buff used. Very Run good. away to cure. Paragon in 20 seconds. Para launching. Gift of Mana Run away to cure
boss must have despawned. Gift of mana. Gift of mana. Flappy Hands Mask Group buff used. Yeah, this is not. Flappy Hands Mask Group buff used. The guy, the Bob has gained four boost to power. We're still killing stuff. Run away to cure. But it's really ridiculous. Okay, boss is coming out. We're bringing him down 28%. That should be the last ad wave. 28% slat A.
Gift of Mana Gift of Mana Janine Mass Group Buff Used Janine Mass Group Buff Used Totem, Adjust Position Run Away to Cure Totem, adjust position. Caroline mass group buff used. Caroline mass group buff used. Run away to cure. Run away to cure. That was interesting. Alright, it looks like we're done for the evening. It's been a lot of fun entertaining you to Siltown with our friends, the uh, Vets of North. We went through as much as we could. We tried to take him out, but it was a real doozy. So, it'll be very interesting to see what happens next. So, why... Oh, what happened... What happened to my healer? My healer got erased. Yeah. I summoned it from um, Revive. No, I'm not in Raid. It, my, what I'm saying is, is I revived it and then got put into the Raid after I stored it away and now it's no longer on my list.
No, I suspended it. Uh. Yeah, that's a melee mercenary. It's not the healer. So I lost all the gear on that healer and the healer itself. Ah, okay. That's good to know. I'll just go get another healer. <laughs> wow, the... Yeah, I have two slots open. One for healer and one for DPS. Well, anyways, <laughs> with that being said, I want to thank you all for watching. It's been a lot of fun entertaining you. Uh, hopefully you'll come back and see more tomorrow night. We're going to be doing Plane of Fear. We're going to be trying to do that mission again. We'll see how far we get. And with that being said, have a good night. Be safe. Be well. Silt Talon out.